To avoid recontaminating the ion block assembly, wear clean, chemical-resistant, powder-free gloves during this procedure. Begin by replacing the extraction cone seal O-ring. Then insert the extraction cone seal into the ion block. Fit the extraction cone retainer to the extraction cone. Insert the extraction cone into the ion block. Be careful not to damage the extraction cone aperture when inserting the extraction cone retainer and extraction cone into the ion block. Use a 2.5 mm Allen wrench to tighten the captive extraction cone retainer screw. Insert a new blanking plug seal onto the blanking plug and then insert them into the ion block. Tighten using the 6 mm Allen wrench. Using needle nose pliers, insert the peak terminal block into the ion block. Then tighten the captive screw with a 2.5 mm Allen wrench. Next, grasp the heat shrink tubing on the heater cartridge assembly and slide it into the ion block. The wires are fragile, so do not bend or twist them. To avoid a short circuit to the ion block cover, ensure that the ring tabs are pushed firmly down on the peak block terminals. Fasten the heater cartridge wires to the terminal block with the 1.5 mm Allen screws. Next, ensure that the grooves for the cover seal are free from dirt and debris. If contamination is present, use a 1 to 1 methanol water solution applied to a lint-free cloth to carefully clean the grooves. Fit a new cover seal to the ion block, ensuring that it is correctly seated. Fit the new O-ring to the isolation valve. Then insert the isolation valve into the ion block assembly. Position the ion block cover plate on the ion block assembly and secure it with the four captive screws.